Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are talking about something many of you have been asking me and it's about DHEA dosing and this is really advanced hormone knowledge for you brainiacs out there because very few people really understand DHEA dosing for women, even doctors but I'm gonna change that for you. And dosing DHEA is really important because not only is DHEA so important for many of the systems of our body, like our brain and spinal cord and our immune system and our body composition and our uh, energy levels, but it also too high of levels can actually increase your risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. So we don't want to do that. And that's what's happening out there since DHEA is over the counter and very few people understand how to dose it. You see, understanding how to dose DHEA can be complicated because it requires understanding quite a number of different things, opening up quite a number of different doors. We need to know the different types of estrogen, the different estrogen receptor sites, the hormone cascade, the basics about DHEA and DHEA's potential side effects. You put all those things together and then you can understand DHEA dosing. So real quickly, a review on the three types of estrogen, E1, E2, and E3, estrone, estradiol, and estriol, they look alike, but they're very different, right? And that there are two estrogen receptor sites, alpha and beta, and that the different estrogens bind preferentially to a different site. Estrone binds preferentially to alpha site, Estradiol, both equally, and estriol, preferentially to the beta site. And that estrogens binding to the alpha site are associated with higher risks of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. And estrogens, that's the estrone, and estrogens binding to the receptor site beta are associated with lower rates of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Now that's the estriol. Good stuff, huh? Now this is really important because DHEA acts as an intermediate between estrogens and testosterone. And 50% of DHEA is converted to testosterone and 50% of DHEA is converted to estrone. Now, remember, estrone is what binds to the receptor site we're not happy about, the alpha site. But estrone can convert to estradiol, and estradiol converts to, I, I'm sorry, estradiol binds to both the alpha and beta, and estrone can convert to estriol, which binds to the beta site. So what happens next with DHEA when you take it or use it as a supplement depends on two things, the dose that you use and the method in which you supplement, oral taken by mouth and topical through the skin. So this can get complicated. So as Sergeant Joe Friday says in Dragnet, just the facts, ma'am. So that's what I'm going to do for you now. I'm going to give you just the facts, not complicate this any more than you really need, and give it right up front. 10 milligrams orally is the maximum dose proven safe for women. Orally, 10 milligrams. That's it. Now that may surprise you because you might be someone right now taking more than 10 milligrams because the doses are huge out there and they're mostly for men. <laughs> now, men, totally different animal. For us, 10 milligrams. Why? Why only 10 milligrams orally? Take a look over here at the hormone cascade and think about what we just talked about because doses greater than 10 milligrams end up with higher levels of estrone binding to the estrogen receptor site alpha, which 
causes metabolite that increases the risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. That's unsafe. Now, don't worry about this, <laughs> but I just want you to see it. So here's our DHEA right here, here's our estrone, and here's the bad guy. It's called 16-alpha-hydroxyestrone. Uh, and just look at the word toxic. That's all you really need to worry about. That's what we don't want. And it comes from estrone. DHEA, doses higher than 10 milligrams, produce too much estrone that causes too much toxic metabolite. Up to 10 milligrams, though, orally has been shown to be perfectly safe. So stay safe. No more than 10 milligrams orally. Hmm, but what if you test your hormones? For instance, ZRT Saliva Profile 1 has DHEA as one of the hormones it tests. Very important for adrenal function. And the ratio of it with cortisol what if you're already taking 10 milligrams orally and your DHEA is low? What do you do then? Topical DHEA doses do not increase unsafe metabolites. So you use topical DHEA above and beyond 10 milligrams orally. Now, you need to go back to videos one, two, and three if you wanna see why we need oral we need that oral and it's super easy to get and it's super inexpensive over 10 milligrams we need to go topical now remember that topical hormones topical replacement is four to five times stronger than oral so uh, 2.5 milligrams topically is equivalent to about 10 milligrams orally i usually start people at 2.5 milligrams topically, and along with either five to 10 milligrams orally. The typical topical dose that the average woman, middle-aged woman like myself, is about five milligrams. Don't forget about the side effects of too much DHEA orally or topically. Acne, hair loss, irritability, anxiety, even breast tenderness, because remember, DHEA has a conversion to estrone, and estrone converts to the other estrogens that can cause an estrogen dominance if you're using too much. Breast tenderness associated with too high of doses of DHEA. And remember that sublingual can also increase the risk of anxiety because sublingual is immediate absorption. The brain takes it up and some for many of us, and I'm one of them, can cause some anxiety. So this is really a big deal. Don't make the mistake of taking too much DHEA or the wrong kind of DHEA. Start low, go slow, but get there because remember, the tortoise wins the race. Okay, so thank you so much. And if you feel like you learned something in this video, and I know you have, give me a thumbs up, please. Share it with your friends, family, and I just appreciate it. It also helps me want to do more videos for you. So thank you so much. Don't forget, remember to go back and view the other three videos on DHEA. And have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.